How is everybody doing? Welcome to my channel. I am Thunderbird Photography, or Dylan. If you guys are new here, make sure to subscribe and let's get this video started. Jumping into the new year, I don't know if you guys are like me and do New Year's resolutions at all and try to lose weight, be healthier, uh, be more happy, different kind of things. Um, for me, part of one of them is actually a clean workspace. So every year I try to change it up a little bit and kind of tweak things around. So this year I'm really excited because I changed a lot of stuff for my 2021 setup. And I want you guys to have a look and let me know what you guys think. Maybe this will help you guys in the future if you guys are interested in building your new setup or if you guys are not interested and this is just a huge waste, I hope not. Before the video starts, I just wanna do a quick disclaimer saying this video is not sponsored by anybody. I am not getting paid. This is strictly 100% my money and what I truly believe that is the best beneficial for me in my workspace and my workflow. Um, hopefully this will help you guys out. There's gonna be some items here that's gonna be on the cheaper side, so very inexpensive, or some very expensive items that might not be suited for everybody. So let's dive into my new desk setup. Starting off with the brains of this operation is my 15 inch MacBook Pro Retina display. It is tucked under my monitor risers, so it's very clean away from my space so I can use a separate keyboard and mouse if needed. Diving into the desk itself, this is Autonomous' is Smart Desk Premium 2. This is the dark bamboo top, but if you ask me, I can't tell the difference between the dark bamboo and the black top, but it is a black frame as well. And I also ended up getting a promotion with a free cable tray with the purchase of this desk. So under my desk, all my wiring, my power bar, everything is stored very nicely under my desk. So it's able to rise and go down without tripping and ripping cables off. And I don't know if you guys are like me, but before this desk, I would put my feet under my desk and I would feel the cables between my toes. And it was such a weird feeling. And I'm just so happy to never have that again with this desk. You can configure whatever height you want from as low as you can go up to basically the ceiling if you ask me. It goes really, really high. Have a look at their website if you guys are interested to tell you the exact specs. And you have four manual preset modes. So I clicked number one as my sit down, number two is my stand up, and number three is my bench, so my stool. And number four is just blank right now. Um, maybe after COVID I might make a friend and they can come over and have number four. <laughs> kidding. So now to point out the elephant in the room and no I'm not talking about myself. I'm talking about this Dell 34 inch ultra sharp monitor and it is curved. Don't let it throw you off but it is such an incredible monitor. So bright, clear, doing video edits, photo edits, you see every fine detail and it is just incredible. It is very expensive for what it is but it is amazing amazing monitor. So since my MacBook Pro is tucked away I won't be able to use audio from the MacBook or the webcam. So for the webcam, I'm using an Aver Media webcam. I found this really helpful looking into webcams and it came with a software for my Mac. I believe it's also available for PC, but you can customize all of your webcam settings. So your contrast, your saturation, your brightness, everything to tweak it just the way you want. Cause I found the auto made it very, very dark in my environment here, but maybe that would be different for you. But for me, I had to customize a little bit and it actually made a huge, huge difference. As for the microphone I am using, I am using the Audio-Technica T2035. And this is a microphone that is running XLR, so I have it clipped onto a newer boom desk clamp into my interface. So this is the Interface Scarlett 2i2, and this is great because I can plug in a microphone and also plug in a guitar at the same time and have a little jam session. So to hear my music out loud, I'm using the Mackie CR3, and these are incredible speakers. I had Logitech before, and it just doesn't give you the, doesn't give you that sound that you're looking for, especially when you're into video production. You wanna have the crystal clear audio and hear every fine detail, and these do the trick very, very well. There is no subwoofer, so it does lack that, but you can also get one if you'd like. But I also got the CR3 XBT, which means they're Bluetooth compatible which helps me out because if I just want to stream something from my iPad or my phone, I don't have to run up and plug it in. It just plays Bluetooth. I think it was $30 more, but for me that was really worth it and I really enjoy the capability of knowing it does have it if needed. Running in storage, because my laptop is only one terabyte hard drive, doing videos and photos, that is not much. That would be one video wedding for me and they would fill up my hard drive instantly. So I have last CA 16 terabyte hard drive for work I'm also running in my book, eight terabyte, just for personal fun photos here and there just to store away. 
And as you can probably see, there's a glow behind the monitor. No, it doesn't have a glowing monitor feature to it. <laughs> this is a LED light strip that I installed myself and this is the Gobi LED strip. These are phenomenal. For this monitor, I got the six and a half foot cable. This LED strip is fantastic because it is really bright. You can change any color you'd like. There is scenes, so for the festivals, you can click on different things, how you're feeling, your emotions, your mood, if you want to study, if you want to party, whatever it may be, they have a preset pretty well there. And if they don't, you can create your own preset and pick what strip, what spot you want lit, at what time, and you can have them move, all different things. But my favorite part is the sound activation setting on this, because this is incredible when you're, when you're watching a movie or editing and you want to feel that kick to it and it's just pulsing with the beat to the music, it's just incredible feeling. So as the music and the beat is kicking, it is changing the color, it'll change the pulsing, the saturation, and the brightness of the light as it goes on. So this is so cool and different. I'm gonna play a clip for you guys and have a look at it for yourself. It's really hard to explain without seeing it, but believe me, it is so cool. And last but not least, I have the Magic Eagle mouse pad, which is ginormous, covers pretty much the entire surface of this desk. And as for the mouse, I'm using Logitech's MX mouse. Configuring all the buttons to my Mac and what's easier and suits me the best was great and fantastic with the Logitech app. And for the keyboard, it's just a standard Apple, no number pads, just very basic keyboard. Uh, maybe in the future I will be changing that because I find the white stands out to everything else on my desk since it's so dark and the keyboard is white. But other than that, that is pretty much it. Thank you guys so much for watching this week's video. I hope you guys enjoyed. Leave a comment below what you guys thought of my setup. Subscribe and I will see you guys next week. Peace.